when you're in. The world is a wonderful place. In fact, the natural history of this world shares some bizarre and really unusual stories for us all to admire. And here at Shuttleworth College, we have put together a video where we would like to share some of the most fascinating and wonderful animals with you. In fact, species rather like the very rare Fijuan iguana is of real interest. The Fijuan iguana is a Cites or Appendix 1 listed species that is unfortunately extremely endangered due to over collection for the pet trade but is now protected within its environment and we were very fortunate to be able to successfully breed this species. Here at Shuttleworth College we really take pride in the large range of species that we house. In fact we're hoping this video will give you the opportunity to delve deeper into the behaviours and the performances of animals with opportunity of gaining wider knowledge and understanding. Here we have the Jackson's Chameleon. These African montane species resemble mini Triceratops where the male has a, a wonderful set of three horns on the skull of his head. The chameleon is renowned for its ability to change colour, but it also has eyes that move independently and these eyes allow them to assess and find prey where they would then focus with their telescopic vision and feed using their long muscular tongues. They also have wonderful fused toes that allow them to grip and climb through the vines of the undergrowth. They also have a prehensile tail that allows them to use as a, an extra limb to support as they move through the tropical ground. The females of this species lack horns and are very defensive of their areas showing lots of territorial behaviours. The female is a live bearing animal giving birth to about 12 to 20 babies or hatchlings should we say. And here's a hatchling using its tongue to feed on fruit fly. The tree-living crested gecko, a majestic species that uses its tongue to clean its eyes. It's a wonderful species that also has adhesive feet for crawling through the undergrowth. Many herptiles, that's reptiles and amphibians, practice ecdysis. Now ecdysis is where they're able to shed their skin to allow them to grow. They may even eat their own skin to reabsorb nutrients. The amazing green tree monitor from Papua New Guinea uses its tongue to hunt out prey from small insects, birds, and even birds' eggs. Whereas the black tree monitor also uses its wonderful tongue for tasting the air to identify food and to feed on and it's got an amazing prehensile tail which it uses for balance and securing itself as it's running through or climbing through the undergrowth. The 
Moving down to the jungle floor, the Diplopoda family, which is the millipedes, they are rooting through the undergrowth and through the, 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 the ground to smell and hunt for rotting vegetation, particularly rotting tree roots and various things like that. They're a very impressive animal, which leads on to the Chungalulu, which is the African millipede, the giant African millipede, which again is a diurnally active species. The bizarre Heterometra scorpion, also known as the Asian wood scorpion, is a wonderful animal that is often detected with the use of black light where it glows at night. And this is often done in the wild when we wish to detect these animals when out studying them in situ. The Mata Mata Turtle from Peru is a wonderful animal that has real strong ability to camouflage where its head can look like a leaf on the riverbed. Frogs and toads come in a range of sizes like the African bullfrog and this brings me on to the unusual Suriname toad which is an ambushing species that hunts through the undergrowth, waiting for prey to pass by. This particular frog also defends itself by using different techniques. This is the ornate horned frog from Argentina, which is also an ambush species. Frogs use the muscular sticky tongues to catch their food whilst hunting. They also use their eyeballs to push the food down whilst feeding because they're unable to swallow. As we move above ground, we move on to this fascinating species of Amazonian milky tree frog. The milky tree frog has sticky pads on its toes that enables it to climb through the tropical wilderness. The living jewels of the Amazonian rainforest, a mosaic of colour and beauty from the dark frog species. This is the blue or azurus dark frog. Toxins they produce result from the diet of termites. Whilst they're capable of killing a human, in captivity, unless the termites are fed, they remain non-toxic and harmless. This is the splash black dark frog which has got a very unusual method of defending itself against predators. They're a tiny animal that can fit on the end of your small finger. And when feel threatened, they will shake rather rapidly, trying to deter predators. The muscular white-lipped Indonesian tree frog jumps into the wilderness. This species is able to jump two and a half meters in a leap. It's a 
an arboreal living animal that will leap away from predators, rather like tree snakes. Here we have the rough green tree snake, an African species that feeds on crickets and small frogs. And its scales have adapted so it can move through the undergrowth with minimum of disturbance. It's using its tongue to taste the air and hopefully it will find an unexpected cricket where it can feed an ambush. The snake has dislocated its jaws, enabling it to swallow the prey. It moves its jaws from side to side and then it will reset its jaws just before it swallows. You can observe the prey moving down the digestive tract as the snake slowly moves from side to side to encourage this motion. <laughs> 